Midco Sports coverage of NCAA football continues today on a perfect fall afternoon in the Red River Valley. It is opening day for the Missouri Valley Football Conference and inside the Alaris Center, two of the league's newest members square off. It's the ninth ranked North Dakota Fighting Hawks taking on the racers from Murray State. Find a way, that is this team's motto. They will try and do just that on the road in Grand Forks. The racers won the toss. They deferred their choice to the second half. So it's Donovan Hunts, the electric junior running back, who gets to take the opening kick back to the 20. Easy thing to do, but he reads that defense, does a great job of dissecting where the opening is going to be and delivering the football on time. He can do this pretty well. Also, the RPO goes for 13 out to the 37. Something that they uh, are welcoming, just a different look up front. Third down and six out of the backfield. And down the sideline, maybe a horse collar tackle potentially could have been the call. Jack Irie, the junior from Hope, North Dakota. Catch of the season for Irie, who's been more of a blocker in his time at North Dakota. Here is Isaiah Smith, big hole now. The senior from Minneapolis able to dive forward to the 26, enough for a first down. Fumble recovery for a touchdown last week in the blowout win over Mississippi Valley State. Here's third and six now, Rumpfo. Escaping pressure. They'll get to the 20-yard line and no more. Four yards shy of the line to gain. Good defensive stance. Two of three one week ago. This well within his range. And that kick is up and good. So just like North Dakota did last week against the San Diego Toreros. So far this season, the Fighting Hawks, a much improved group from what we saw last year in terms of limiting the opposition. MSU going quick here. Another quick hitter to Morgan right up the mid for North Dakota. Great coverage. Third down and two. Johansson. Jaden Johansson with nothing but green space in front. Touchdown, Murray State from 57 yards out. Well, and Jane Johansson, Coach Swenspire talked about this week. He has great straight line speed. When he gets going, he's athletic. He's got to, he, he, this is a guy they've got to make sure they know where he's at in the run. State on the board and into the lead. James London now, the sophomore place kicker from Miami, who's got one of the best legs in the FCLA. The redshirt senior putting the pressure on. Second and 10. Rumpho pump fake. He's got Belquist open. Bo Belquist in stride. Touchdown, North Dakota. 73 yards. Like last week, Alex, like you said, he pumps there, gets the defender to come up thinking it's a stop route, and you send Belquist deep. Rumpho hits him in stride. Great way to start the, start the game. Belquist started in the backfield on that, motioned all the way out. And Preston, who bit on the fake. Belquist, the fifth-year senior from New Rockford, North Dakota. The Valley's everybody. They move everybody. They do what you need to do. It's like having extra coaches on the field. I thought that said a lot about those linebackers for North Dakota. Third down and long. The racers able to convert. Johansson finding Justice Hill. Nice pickup for Jody Wright. Right after fall camp had started, he decided to join the squad. And now the racers back off to the races. Q Darius Jennings to the house. 65 yard strike. Explosive plays on both sides of the football in this first quarter. Well, th th this is, again, just you make one guy miss and then there's nobody there. The linebackers are, are out of the way. And then it's just a race to the, to the end zone. Back-to-back -back drives where Murray State has huge explosive plays right up the middle of that defense. And as quick as North Dakota answered, Murray State comes right back and has an answer of their own. London's extra point is good. She does such a great job of involving all three of those guys, Zebarth, Smith, and Sawyer Seidel, who had a big day last week. Zebarth now able to hang on to that football. A guy that can hit the hole, that's what's so fortunate for North Dakota, just like that, to be able to break those tackles because you're fresh. Isaiah Smith makes the first man whiff in the backfield. Backfield. First and 10 now. 
Rumfo. Belquist wide open. Shakes off one man. Gets a great block from Corey Ty and walks in for the score. Second touchdown strike of the day. Rumfo to Belquist. Well, and the defender thought this was going to be a post. So he goes inside, Belquist, Belquist goes out, and it's just amazing the oh. things that Belquist is able to do. He knows where he's at on the field, knows, hey, I don't have to go out of bounds on this. I can go upfield, makes that, hey, this is what I'm going to do when I catch this football. Just an unbelievable player for North Dakota. Already the fifth receiving touchdown of the season. Rhythm here offensively. It's a great sign for Murray State. They've been great on third down this year, and they pick up the first on third and short. That was Northington dragging Kaysen Kelly a couple of yards. Johansson over the middle. That's Carter on the crossing route. He will be shepherded out at the 30-yard line, five yards shy of the lines again. Wyatt Pedigo, one of the... Zebarth in the backfield. That's Caden Dennis in motion, the junior receiver from Kansas City. Rumfo stepped up into trouble that time. C.J. Barnes. Wendy is so important. Murray State coming after this punt. Luke Silvernail gets taken down. Flag on the play. A chance, though, for a return, which will likely not count coming the other direction. Kavan Reed gets across midfield, but this will be likely a roughing the punter penalty the way that Silvernail got hogtied on the play. Personal foul, roughing the kicker. Return team number 29. 15-yard penalty from the previous spot. Automatic first down. Well, and judging by Silvernail's reaction after this, he knew right away this was going to be a first down because, boy, he takes a hit right there. Again, costly penalty for Murray State. You do a great job on your defensive set there. Then you get a personal foul, which moves up for a first down for UND. Yards per game. That is a big one, though. Murray State had North Dakota down and out on a three and out. And instead, it's Gavin Seabarth taking advantage of the fresh set of downs. A pickup of nine to the 33. Smith stays in the backfields. 20 seconds left in the quarter. He'll take the carry, and this breaks wide open. Isaiah Smith, touchdown North Dakota. A 33-yard scamper for the senior from Minneapolis. Third rushing score of the year for Smith. Picking up right where he left off from last year's meeting in Kentucky between these two. Well, and when he got through that hole, there was nobody there. He had a wide opening, wide open running lane right up the middle again for Smith. And a big touchdown for everybody doing their job, and there was nobody there for Murray State. Elrich's extra point is five miles north from the place he started his college career. Q Jennings again on the carry. Pickup of nine right to the six at the 43-yard line. It's been impressive to see Murray State get so much traction on the ground against the UND team that typically is done for nine. That was Montre Samuels Parker, the junior from Oklahoma, in on the stop. Now on third down and four, they take a shot and connect. Inside the red zone, Elijah Downing, the Louisville transfer. Jumper in Cade Neely. Morgan is the fake. Johansson on the outside has the first down. He was able to sneak by Navratil. 2-10, but he has shown today that he can scoot. Kaiwan Morgan. Great open field tackle that time. Malachi McNeil there on the stop. During the run, personal foul, face mask, defense number 36. The penalty will be enforced half the distance to the goal. Automatic first down. Johansson to the air. Play broken up. Devin Hembry got a hand in. Justice Hill was Johansson's intended target. That's usually an automatic. Not with Devin Hembry. He gets that hand over, smacks that ball down, and gets a big stop for that defense. Johansson. Only able to get back to the line of scrimmage. North Dakota pushing that speed. Morgan. Dives for the pylon. Touchdown, Murray State. 
great individual effort from Kaiwan Morgan. His third touchdown of the season. Same type of play they've had success with, getting around the edge. Let's outrun these defenders for North Dakota. And Morgan gets around the edge and tries his best to get in there. They're going to take a look at this. To review, the runner's foot was out of bounds at the two with the ball at the one yard line. It'll be fourth and goal from the one. Washington right behind Johansson. Direct snap now, Jawan Northington. Touchdown, Murray State. Second effort that time from the junior from Louisville. It certainly was, Alex. Northington gets hit before the end zone here, but he just uses the power. I mean, right there, the contact has made it about the two-yard line. He just keeps going and keeps that low pad level and pushes his way through for a touchdown. Contact is made, and he just spins off, continues his way into the end zone. And that's Wyatt Pedigo, who's making yeah. that hit. Typically, 59 in black and silver does not get driven. Best 10 now. Four receivers set for the Fighting Hawks. Racers rush four. Rumfo with time. He will tuck and run and come up about five yards shy of the line to gain. Kevin Hagler in on the stop. So that will send Kavan Reed back deep. Silver Nail does not get run into this time. Good high kick from the sophomore that's been really hammering these this season. It's picked up on the hop. Reed stopped right at the 22. Ball came out. North Dakota football. I think that's Sam Strandell got down there. Boy, what a costly decision for Murray State. Great job by Sam Strandell. He's right there. Gets that tackle. Helmet pops that ball out. North Dakota able to recover it. How about Strandell, a Grand Forks Central kid, forcing the turnover, and Payne Parks, the Red River standout, dives on it. A turnover forced by two guys who've called Grand Forks home. On Midco, North Dakota taking on North Dakota State from Fargo at 2.30 that afternoon. Play action on third and six. The pass overthrown, but a flag does fly. Caden Dennis was the man Simon Rumpho was looking for. Larry Preston maybe tugged back on the jersey. And that drew and the back judge. Pass interference. Defense number two. Spot foul. Automatic first down. North Dakota now first and goal from the six. They'll fake it. Rumpho with room to run. Simon Rumpho into the end zone. Well, Rumpo decides to just take this one himself. I think it's a good decision, too. He takes a hit, but he knows I've got the speed. I've got the ability here. I've got a running lane. If I can cut this thing upfield, you know, I think I can beat those two defenders and get into the end zone. Great job by Simon Rumpo using his athletic ability, getting in the end zone for the Fighting Hawks. Elrich's extra point. Shot on Johansson there and almost fought, uh, forced a turnover. Here's third and ten now. Johansson. Nobody really to aim for. Qdarius Jennings was double covered at the line of scrimmage. Pressure was there on the Sam O'Hara. Sixth best in the FCS this season, and they get home. That was Erkman, scooped up by North Dakota. Another massive special teams play for the Fighting Hawks. the middle there are multiple silver hats here but Tyler Erkman's the one that comes up and gets that block again that's a that's a that's a scheme thing that's a game plan thing that's coach Kostic, Kostic getting together with the guys saying I think we can get some pressure right here and ran to perfection Tyler Erkman gets right there gets that block and another huge special teams goes the way it Zbarth on the ground right up the middle touchdown fighting Hawks
Well, and I liked what Rumpo did there. He waited for that play clock to run down. He was looking at that defense, reading it, deciding whether he was going to hand that ball off or keep it. Made the right decision, handed that thing off. See Barth. Elrich's extra point is good. Looking an eight scene now for the racers. Johansson will keep it himself and find some daylight near the first down marker that time on second and 18. Good play. All of a sudden you're at a third and one. Good play call. Johansson picked up 17. And the racers are able to convert. They just needed one. Northern Three games in a row for Devin Hembry. Third and 13. Johansson slings it. Caught. First down. Justice Hill on the grab. The man. And Murray State's not able to have success getting around the outside like they were in that first quarter. Racers need the 45 for the first down. Hill not quite on the same page with Johansson that time. Good coverage by Blewett. For UND's offense. Rumpfo, he's going to go deep. Belquist is down there. A lot of grabbing that time. The flags will come out. Caban Reed, who's just had a tough time dealing with number one today. Cup for number 80 in motion. They set the screen up the opposite way. Smith has it, and he's got room to run. Isaiah Smith down the sideline. 75 yards to the house. Boy, and a really great play design. You had comfort coming around. They fake to him. They come back to a running back screen on the backside. And Isaiah Smith does the rest. Get explosive play. Makes, breaks one tackle. How about 45 for third and 17 now for Jaden Johansson. Across the middle, Justice Hill nearly made the one-handed grab on the drag. Clock stops now with 156 points on the board before half. Good point, Ryan, that it will be racers football to start the third quarter. Tight spiral kick from O'Hara, fielded by Belquist. Make one man miss, make another. And now hang on to the football. Bo Belquist showing his worth, not just as a receiver, but in the return game as well. Caban Reed on the stop. Through the air, one on the grounds. Racers bring pressure. Rumfo finds his man. That's Quincy Vaughn. The tight end picking up the first down to the 30. To do that, does a nice job. Pass batted down on third and one. The pocket broke down a bit around Rumfo. And Simon listed at 5'11. He's got the first and then some. Nice shove from behind by Jaden Norby. Clock will stop for a moment. Work, of course, to do between now and then. Fresh set of downs for Simon Rumpho in this offense. He's got a man down there. DeMontinac's got the grab inside the 10. Nice route. In this season. That gain of 24 makes it first and goal from the five. Rumpho with pressure. Good job by DeMontinac just to break up what might have been down to one. They just get it away. Rumpfo slings one towards the end zone and completes. DeMontinac got his hands on it. Play was well defended though. Larry. Rumpfo rolling. Couldn't find DeMontinac that time. Well defended by the racers. Pressure put on by Lovey J. When he's first possession converted from 37 yards out. Rumpho the holder, David Newberger the long snapper. And what essentially is an extra point is up and through. So UND tacks on down by 27. They will have the football to start the third quarter. It started so well for the racers here on the road. They have not won a road football game since the end of the... They got punched in the mouth, though, by this Fighting Ox crew. And as we go to the half, it is North Dakota 48, Murray State 21. Over 10,000 again for that follow-up game against Idaho State. Another good crowd here today as well.
And Murray State won the toss and deferred. It'll be the Racers taking the football first. Really good kid from a great family in Sioux Falls, but he throws a pick here. That is Jet Sutton coming up with the interception. The sophomore from Kansas City. Second. Jet Sutton just read this all along. I mean, he's right there. He jumps this route and picks the ball off. Good way to start for North Dakota coach. Right in the Hugo's red zone. Isaiah Smith, who's had a big day, second year in a row that he has feasted on this racer defense. Able to cut it up for a game. Yeah, yet to make a carry today. The redshirt freshman, Sawyer Seidel from Hugo, Minnesota. Second and goal, Smith, a gaping hole that he takes advantage of. Third touchdown of the day for Isaiah Smith. I mean, you could see that from up here, Alex. I mean, I mean, just look at that. There is nobody there. The offensive line completely parts this, and wow. Smith has sees. Smith scores from six yards out. Elvich remains perfect on the day. 55. To I mean, that, that takes some time to develop, but well, Coach Wright is the is the right guy for the job. <laughs> I mean, he he knows what he's doing. He's been around Coach Saban. He's been in some really high profile programs that know how to win um, and, and he'll do a good job Johansson will stay out there and lunge forward to get the first down that was Beach along with Jack Barrett's and Kaysen Kelly now on third down good catch by Jennings and he cuts it upfield first down and more for Qdarius Jennings all the way it's a long way for your team third down and three Taiwan Morgan stood up. That North Dakota front standing tall. And linebackers could flow upfield. Offense stays on. They're two for two on fourth down today are the racers. Pass across the middle. That ball was hung on to. Great catch by J.K. Carter. Unable to go today for obvious medical reasons. Here on second and 11. Ball came out right at the end of that play. It was Justice Hill with the catch on the slants. Able to get inside the five. Get right on this. Flag does come in. That was Jennings who dove into the end zone for the touchdown. Looks like a... After review, the ruling on the field of a touchdown stands. So six points on the board for the Miami, Florida. The punter O'Hara is the holder. Ben Williamson, the long snapper, everything perfect. About 20 years. But that should be a great occasion coming up next Saturday. Here is Donovan Hunt now. Instant offense. Off the bench. The junior into Racers territory. Plenty of time. Has his man. That's Dennis. First down, UND. It sure looked like he did right here. You see the helmet go down. And, and that's almost the definition. You see the crown of the helmet hit the hit the helmet of the of the U.S. Review. Defense number 23 committed a foul for targeting. He's been disqualified. Fighting Ox can get a first down at the one yard line without scoring a touchdown here on third and forever. Rumpho caught by Belquist, who makes the first man miss and just stepped out of bounds. Looking for two today. Oh, and this one is blocked. No, I'm sorry, up, up and through. What did they get? Dale Lennon, who came after him, of course, for most all time in program history. Third down and long. Good coverage by North Dakota. One. This is valuable for, uh, for Jerry Kaminsky. Isaiah Smith still in the game. Great jump cut at the line of scrimmage. And he's off to the races. Isaiah Smith inside the 10 and finally pushed out inside the five yard line. Kaminsky racing him down to try and throw one more block. I was just going to say that too. Watch 11 here. Uses the speed, gets in front here. Great effort. Again, and Isaiah Smith just continues to have success against Murray State's defense. Unity now, first and goal from the five for North Dakota. They'll keep it on the ground. It is Grant Rumpho. 
Grant, the twin brother of Simon. 6-1-2. Pass protector in the backfield. Yeah, and he, do, he does a really good job, too. And he's, he's got some size to him. You know, would have been nice for Donovan Hunt. A state champ. He gets the call here. Grant Rumfo pushing the pile and into the end zone. Touchdown, North Dakota. First career score for Calvin North. Fired up, grabbing his helmet on the sideline to come be the holder for this point after touchdown. Oh, what an effort. Just kept the legs going, kept going here. Contact is made and just keeps pushing. And the offensive line keeps driving. Push his way in there for the end for the touchdown. And I should say, second career score, first of the season for Rumpo, who started his career at North Dakota State. Murray State, 8 of 16 on third down today. They'll keep it on the ground. Bit of running room that time up the middle for Clinton McKee, the redshirt sophomore who gets his first carry. Or actually, his second carry, because we got the call on offense. You know, good uh, a kid that everybody likes on the football team. He just does a really nice job out there. He has a first down hook up here to Sam Strandell. You're 210 pounds. You're 6'5". I mean, that's great attributes to have. A guy that fans, like you said, Alex, are definitely excited about his future. Here is Strandell, the former Grand Forks Central star, able to make the grab again to the 41-yard line. Sizable advantage. Third down and six. Holcomb to throw. Good pitch and catch, enough to move the chains. That grab made by Parker Perry, the redshirt sophomore. Washington, the biggest of the backs in terms of stature, 6'1", 215. Play action, good connection. Leverage there on Scott and was able to complete that for a first down. Intercepted here. Look at this. Avery Scott, pick six. The transfer from West Virginia State jumps the route. 71 points now for North Dakota. Well, he wasn't going to let it happen again. I mean, just trying to throw that ball to the outside. Avery Scott jumps it, takes it all the way in. He got beat on the play before that. Read that one perfectly, picked it off for a, a pick six for UND. Well, at times because of injuries in the secondary. Good for him to get rewarded with that touchdown. Second. Third down and five. Racers need the 31. They'll keep it on the grounds and not quite get there. Good effort by McKee, but stops. And again, that run game is something they're going to have to hang their hat on the entire year. They've done a terrific job once again today. Ball might have been tipped that time coming out of the hands of Kaminsky. It was caught by Noah Schaffner. Decorated high school career at that. Trying to convert here on fourth and short. Rumpfo has the first and more. Grant Rumpfo as a flag flies. Makes it into racer territory. During the run, holding offense number two. Ten yards from the spot of the foul. Remains fourth down. So Dang Dang, the true freshman receiver, will back up A on Saturday. Again, football just 75 miles down the road. Softball, by the way, still playing some of their fall games in their outstanding new facility that they opened last week. How about that, by the way? A walk-off winner here of that late 2010s or so from 2006 to 2010. It's been a complete transformation over the last 15 years, hasn't it? It has, and it needed to be, right? I mean, like... For, for me, being from Grand Forks, it was Memorial was cool because Jennings, and it looked like it was going to be a back and forth track meet, but North Dakota's defense got on track. They're trying to slow down Kevin Emanuel here, who sprints down to the 21 yard line. The, the game film that they had was, you know, Missouri was not a close score. Butler, they didn't have the ball a lot. And then uh, last week was a blowout against Mississippi State. So the adjustments made were great by UND. Murray State with a late touchdown. Jamison Holcomb finding Marcus Floyd Jr. Second week in a row that these two have hooked up for six. When he's got time, he delivers the football. Good throw. Good job by the offensive line to, to pick up blitzers. Getting right in the middle of that zone there for a touchdown. Your points of the day on the way. 
you know, for the first time putting four quarters together, you know, yeah. not just playing one half and then not the next. I mean, th this was the first time all year in North Dakota for four quarters was opportunistic, was dominant, and did what they needed to do and, and set themselves up great for next week going into Fargo with a ton of confidence. 72-35, Bubba Schweigert's Fighting Hawks get the job done in the Missouri Valley Football Conference opener and then some. And Jody Wright, a proud guy, uh, he's going to get this program on track today, just not their day. From start to finish, an impressive performance by the ninth-ranked team in the nation. Over 600 yards total offense and one of the highest scoring performances